Hi, um, my name is Diane Dines, and I am making a video tutorial about how to program Sounding Board, which is an application that you can find on the iPad or on the iPhone that parents can use with kids who aren't talking yet. This particular program or application uses picture symbols of things that the child may want to ask for and they show it on the screen and when you push the picture it will speak the name of that particular picture and the child uses it to to kind of indicate something he might want to make a request to comment um so what i'm going to do is i am going to share the screen of the ipad and by doing that i'll take you through the steps for how to program this particular application for the ipad all right, so at this point, I need to turn over the I need to turn everything over to the iPad. And I'm starting to share the screen. Take just one more second, bear with me. And now what we have is the front of my iPad and on some iPads you'll see a lot of different applications. Right here in the upper left hand corner is what we want. It's called Sounding Board. You see the name of it, it's by AbleNet. And this is the actually the very beginning page that you see. Um, so on that particular page, what we're looking at are boards that have already been created. If you look in the orange bar up at the top, it says user created boards. And so these are ones that have already been made. And I thought maybe I'll show you one of those real quick. Here's one that I was starting um, uh, just to show some choices. And I, I actually might be able to add to this easily. And here, cookie. I'm not sure you can really hear that real well because the microphone isn't on on the iPad, but it did just say cookie and here it is again. Cookie. And this one. Fish cracker. Again, the volume's not real high. I apologize for that, but it is saying the word that you see written underneath. So let's go ahead and go back to the beginning and start the procedure for programming your own board that has pictures that you chose because these are things that your child may ask for during the day. Now there's a lot of things that a child could be asking for. So what I like to start with is how about list some of the foods that the child may request when it's snack time, when it's breakfast. Um, kids don't always get to ask about dinner foods or lunch foods, sometimes they just, I have to eat what they're given, but certainly snacks and uh, breakfast a lot of times as well. Um, later, you could program something that maybe has toys that they ask for that they can't go get themselves, bubbles or maybe certain puzzles. Um, also, you can program a board that has different songs um, that the child may want to ask to sing. Um, but for today, what we're going to do is we're going to start with showing how you create a board that you, the child could use to ask maybe for some snack items. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right up here where it says add board. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see that we have to actually name this board. And like I just said, snacks, toys, songs, this board is called snack. So I'm going to go ahead and call it snack choices because I have one that's already called snack um, so there's three things we do right here first we name the board then we give the board a picture so we're gonna give this board a picture from one of these options the first one says symbol library the next one says photo library let me go back to the symbol library are uh, drawn icons they're usually stick figures they're, they're drawn pictures icons um, that represent the word that that uh, you'd see written underneath it as a label so those are drawn icons the photo library is actual photos um, that you might have in your iPad photo library so you already have to have it in there um, the, this other one is take a new photo. So using your own iPad, 
um, or your iPhone, if you have an iPhone, and you take a picture of the thing that you want to go ahead and put on your board. So these are our options that we have. Now, my favorite pick is using the photo library, not only because I take photos ahead of time of what I would like uh, to then use when I program my board, but also because I download Google images and the ones that we were just looking at were Google images that I had downloaded ahead of time. Google images are beautiful because they have that white background to them and they stand out really nicely and they're, an act, they're a real concrete representation of the particular item that's pictured. Okay, so right now for today, what we're doing right now is just finding something that looks like snacks because that's the name, snack choices. That's the name of this board that we're creating. So I'm gonna go into the symbol library this time. Um, and again, these are all the symbols that are already inside sounding board, um, the application by uh, AbleNet. And what we're looking for is actually food. So let's come on down here and just look, what are those food items? There's a lot of them. They're somewhat alphabetical in order. You can see A, B, C. We're into F now. I'm looking for something that might make me think of snack choices. Uh, maybe, oh, I don't know. There's a lot of fruit on that one. Let's see, let's just get something pretty quickly. I'm sorry for taking so long. Let's use this one. That that's, looks like a lot of fruit, but it might be something for snack. So that's what we're using today. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now the next thing we do is we record a prompt for that particular board. You don't always have to have one. So if you don't wanna have one, in this case I won't, it'll just go to, to the board without saying anything. So I'm not gonna have one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push record prompt message and then I'm gonna stop it and it will be a blank space. And so now listen to the prompt. It's blank, so it was just empty space. All right, now if you look over here in the upper right-hand corner, this is always kind of tricky and, and throws people off from time to time, but this arrow is now lit up white, which means you've done all the things you have to do, and you can now go on to the next um, uh, step in the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch that, and you can see, okay, we're here. We're on the Snack Choices board. What are the snacks you wanna Put on your board. Well, it's a good idea to already have those written down ahead of time. So then you've thought through what what your your mo the most highly preferred one are, uh, highly preferred snack choices are for your child, as well as just what is it that you want represented. So you might have this written down. You might even sh have shown where you want it placed on your board. You just do some planning ahead of time. Um, I know some moms want to just dive in and start programming to practice, but do understand that planning ahead of time what you're going to be putting on the board, where you're going to be putting it, and what kind of pictures you really want to use. Planning that ahead of time is usually a good idea because once you get into this programming part, it's good to have those pieces already ready. All right, so what I've written down is I'm going to have the choices of uh, cookies, um, fish crackers, and a cup. So those are the things that I'm gonna have pictured already, okay? So let's start with add image. That is the first step that we have to do. So we press right there, and it's gonna ask us to do, again, three things, just like we had done when we initially started the board. The three things are add an image, give it a label or a message name, record the message. Now for each one of these, we are going to record the message because I do want these to talk because I want the child to hear the picture they just picked that will reinforce it in their mind and they might potentially repeat the word after they hear the iPad say it, okay? All right, so let's start with the add image. That's the first thing we wanna do. It always helps me to have that picture right there in front of me. Am I gonna pick from a symbol library? Am I gonna pick from a photo library? Am I gonna take a new photo? In this particular case, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick from a symbol library, just so you can take one more look. And I'm gonna come on down here to drinks, and I'm gonna choose drinks, because I'm trying to represent a cup or a water, uh, some kind of drink choice. I see a water bottle. I see a juice box, I see milk, I see a pop can, um, I see water coming out of the faucet. I think since water bottles are pretty common, you even see a real, um, or 12 month old, uh, uh, 
early toddlers are starting to even drink from those water bottles, especially those nice little tiny ones. So let's go ahead and use that water bottle as a black and as a as a colored icon, a color drawing that's in our symbol library that's part of the sounding board app. So let's go ahead and use that one. Now go ahead and tell it to save. And now the next thing, we're gonna go ahead and give it a name, right? We're just gonna go ahead and say water. And we spell it when the keyboard comes up. I do like to add a space, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and save it. Again, that was in the upper left-hand corner. Next thing that we need to do, or the third thing or the last thing that we need to do is record the message. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. And once I hit record, I'm quickly gonna go ahead and speak the message that I want spoken. Because I don't want a lot of pause before the recording that it, it plays back. I don't want a lot of pause in the beginning. I want it to say it as soon as the child hits the picture. So be ready. When you hit record, be ready to say, uh, what it is you, you're going to say. Now, about the way you record the message. It's super important. I want you to make sure that you say it naturally. I want you to make sure that you use some intonation. I want you to make sure that if it's just a single word, you might think of adding two words together. I just want you to think ahead of time of how you're going to record it because the quality does matter. All right, let's go ahead. I'm just going to say water, 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 that's how I'm going to say it, okay? Another option might be water, please, bottle, any one of those. So think about what, how you want to say it. Think about the level of language your child is at. Think about what your child might hear around him. You want some water? Here, water. I'm going to go ahead and hit record and start right away. Water. I did try and use a little bit of stress. I wanted that first syllable to have stress. I might have been a little too loud. Let's listen, although it might be hard for you to hear it on the iPad. Water. Okay, we get a little delay when it comes out, out of uh, the Zoom uh, recording, but I do think it's gonna be okay. So I'm happy with it. Now notice up here in the upper right-hand corner, the arrow is highlighted again. That means you did everything you were supposed to do on that page. You could do two other things, but we're not going to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and push uh, the arrow key to bring us back to the board that we're starting. Now remember we said we planned ahead of time. There's several things that we want on this board. One of the next things is crackers. We want fish crackers. You had seen that on the board earlier that I showed you. Let's go ahead and add that to this board by pressing right here where the plus is. And again, we're brought back to what we had before. So we have three things we have to do. We have to add an image. We have to give the message a label or a name, and then we have to record the message. And of course, the recorded message and the message name have to do with the picture because the picture is the concept that we're representing. All right, let's begin again with add image. And what we said we were gonna do is we were gonna use fish crackers. Well, this next time, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the photo library that's on the iPad because I went ahead and pulled a Google image of fish crackers um, down and saved it to my photo library already. Um, now there's a couple other photos I think that you'll see on there that I've I've taken since. So um, there it is. So if you don't mind, a couple pictures of my dog. Um, and there is the goldfish cracker in my photo library. And I want to use that one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit use. And there it is in the upper left-hand corner where the image is supposed to go. What's next? Next is the message name. This time I want to say both words. I want to say fish cracker. Because, I don't know, a lot of times I think that's what moms are saying. You want some fish crackers? And maybe I should add the S. Why not? Right? All right, up here I'm going to go ahead and save that by pressing save. And now I have one more thing to do. I do want to point out, you notice how... That arrow is not highlighted yet. That's because you still have one more thing to do. There are three more options of what you have left to do. Remember, it's the top one. You want to record the message that that particular picture that represents a concept is going to say. And like we said, we want to say fish crackers. All right, so I'm going to say fish crackers by hitting record message. Fish crackers. Well, here, listen to that real quick. It's going to have like a echo, so... I think it's going to be okay. It's fair. I could go back over and record a new one and work with it a little bit more. Add some different intonation, add some different stress. Um, 
for now, for the purposes of just this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and go on. Note how the arrow is highlighted. So it's time to move to the next next step. And so now we have these two up here. Now we're going to do another one. We're going to do cookie. So remember again, we hit the plus button because we're adding, we're plusing, we're adding something. We're going to add an image, we're going to give it a name, and we're going to record a message to go with the image. All right, we did say we wanted to do cookie. Well, what I thought I'd do is I'd go ahead and show us how we take a photo. So the cookies I have here today happen to be Keebler chocolate chip. So let's go ahead and I guess I could have found a Google image, but I, oh, oops, sorry guys. But I do want to show you what it would look like if I took a picture and how that goes. So let's go ahead and get that. Sorry for, whoop. all right. And it looks like it's gonna be right there. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and say use photo, that's down here in the lower right hand corner. And so now we have a photo that I just took. Now, it'll be fun to go back and look at the quality of those different images that we, we just um, incorporated in, on this board. And, and you can ask yourself, what do you think makes the most sense to your child? All right, so the next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and take care of that message name, that's number two. And we're just gonna go ahead and say cookie. Um, and save it, and now get ready to record the message. Cookie, and I'm going to listen. It's okay. Notice how the arrow is now white, and now we have three images on our board. You might see here how now, if we want to add another image, it brings us on down to the to the a second row. So it usually gives you three columns, two rows. If you turn it into that profile view, it turns the view of the pictures. Okay? So, and then you have, I'm sorry, now you'll have three rows, two columns, two rows, three columns, three rows, two columns. It actually goes up to nine, I think. Maybe 12, I'm not positive, I think nine. I think you can only get three by three. All right, so we now have our uh, images at least enough for us to go ahead and move on to the next step. So you see this arrow is white and highlighted. We're gonna go ahead and hit that one and it takes us back to the very beginning, that first board that we see when we open up our sounding board on our iPad. And if you remember, the name of our board was Snack Choices. That's the one we just made. Let's go to it, and there it is. So I can show you, but you won't hear it very well. And that's that. So there you go, guys. Fish crackers. Cookie. Okay, so the Zoom recording has a delay, and those were the three um, choices that were on the board, but um, that right when I hit the picture is when it says the word. So let's go ahead. I'm going to stop the uh, sharing screen here. And I'm going to turn this back over. to the beginning. And since we are done with the iPad, I will turn off that recording. Okay, so we just programmed three picture symbols on a board called Snack Choices. You can add more. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can ask me, you can ask the person who's your primary service provider um, to ask me. Um, I hope it helps and have fun. Bye-bye.